Steve here. We're back, and this is part two of the denatured alcohol electrolyte solution thingy. Um, like I said, I put this solution, 20% uh, denatured alcohol, with my electrolyte solution using NaOH into the freezer uh, for overnight. And so let's see what happens and what it looks like. Okay, there it is. As again, it looks like uh, chicken stock. And you can see it's still... It's not frozen solid, but it definitely looks like... Uh, looks like a frozen slushy. So, I uh, kept it from freezing, that's for sure. Um, after 24 hours or so. And again, that's sitting in the freezer um, with everything else. But, the next thing we're going to do is take this, throw it in the cell, and see what kind of, uh, see if we can up the electrolyte level. So, let's give that a shot. There it is. Okay, so there we go. I just finished up uh, filling up the cell with our denature alcohol solution with electrolyte, uh, 20%, came out like, uh, looks like pee. <laughs> and uh, so we let it warm up a little bit. And basically we're looking at uh, about 50 degrees. So it's still, <laughs> it's definitely a cold cell. And I added, added about uh, five more teaspoons of electrolyte. So we're going to take the power and we're going to hook it up and see what happens. Okay, so we're pushing about about two, four, about 16, maybe 17 amps. Uh, we're putting out some gas, that's for sure. Let's get a more accurate reading. Okay, so that says 15, about 15 and a half amps. So it's five, uh, five teaspoons on top of the two that were already in there, plus another three here. And we'll see if we can get this to... The other thing I've noticed with this denatured alcohol, uh, when you add sodium hydroxide to it, it, uh, it takes a lot for it to uh, dissolve. So one thing I'm seeing is that if you're going to add more solution, electrolyte, you might want to add your distilled water and your sodium hydroxide. Uh, do that separate so the sodium hydroxide is all diluted into the distilled water and then add uh, your 20% denatured alcohol to that. Because it's just taking a lot of take a long time to Okay, so we definitely have more gas now. Uh, that's about normal now. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to nine more teaspoons for two liters of uh, water or distilled water. And so let's uh, hook up some leads and we'll do a displacement. Uh, uh, 19.4. Amps, 11.57, and let's, let's see what we get. Go. So we're getting. 500 milliliters of gas in 37, almost 38 seconds. So in other words, we're getting about 3.56 mmW. We want to do a little explosive test here, because you got to have explosions. <coughs> you can see we're getting production there. And see what kind of bang we get.
Shiny mine. Oh yeah. Okay, so there you have it. We have the denature alcohol solution uh, that we froze, uh, became a pea slush, if you will, and we found out that it's, uh, even after running for 45 minutes, uh, as you can see, it's coming out really, really dark, dark, uh, yellowish orange, so <laughs> really dark pea. So anyway, uh, I don't know if that's part of the freezing process because I didn't see that with just the regular uh, solution itself after running it for an hour. So obviously having it in the cold does something. Uh, I think I might do another video because I want to run the cell some more and to see if the changes t color gets any darker and also check the production. So and I'm thinking if it's running about 36 amps uh, that might be good for my modified booster. Um, but I put 10 teaspoons of NaOH, so probably back that off to maybe about six. And after the cell warms up, I didn't take that into consideration. So uh, might do another video on this, but uh, some pretty interesting stuff. So as a parting shot, we'll leave you with some more explosions and uh, have fun. So take care. God bless. Peace. So let's uh, be like Johnny Flame. Flame on.